going to quickly summarize all the differences that I've noticed through these filters. I'm just going to show a subset of them, and any of them that I didn't show would be the same as the ones that I am showing. The filter end caps had a couple different styles. There are some simple ones like this that are round on the top and the bottom. They're essentially a symmetrical cylinder. There is this style that had the round top with a integrated bypass valve on the bottom with the spring attached to the bottom filter cap. Fram had a round top as well with these pegs to keep it centered in the can as well as a, f a gasket on the bottom for the spring to seal against. Mobile One used a neck on the top end cap instead of the plastic that were seen on other filters and has no gasket on the bottom. It does have a ridge though that may help seal it. The bypass valves had a few different designs. Some of them were incorporated into the end cap like these two and some of them were incorporated into the spring that seats against the bottom. The Baldwin has its own unique bypass valve where it is separate and comes with a gasket. The MicroGuard comes with an integrated bypass valve that is actually attached to the bottom end cap and cannot be removed without damaging it. Fram incorporated the bypass valve into the spring bottom seat as well as included a gasket for it to seat against. The Mobile One also did the same thing, almost an identical spring hook uh, pattern with four prongs and it just sits on top of the metal end cap. Another notable bypass valve is the Rotella. It is an integrated spring but in a different design and opens in up from the inside. The bottom spring has these different styles. There is the stamped flat spring, which just has a hole to let the bypass valve allow oil to flow through. There is the large coil spring. This is the largest of the ones that have been opened. The coil spring with a tapered center. A flat spring with a semi-thin seat. And then another flat spring, but with a wider seat. Comparing the anti-drain back valves, we had a couple different styles. There's some with a rubber washer and a plastic insert where the plastic made it up against the metal base plate. And then the sealing of the anti-drain back valve sealed against the top of the filter end cap. The other style we had was a plastic one as well, but notably a different size and shape. It also used a washer style anti-drain back valve. The frames used a similar insert design to the plastic ones but without the plastic. They incorporate it into the anti-drain back valve them itself. And it sits right on top of the filter end cap and then seals against the base plate. The Mobile One and a few of the others used a dual seal as well where the anti-drain back valve sat on top of the end cap and sealed against the base plate up here. and then also sealed against the top of the filter end cap by having what is essentially the plastic piece on these two be incorporated into the end cap itself. The two different kinds of anti-drain back valve materials are silicone 
which is typically this orange color. Here's another one. And nitrile, which is typically a form of rubber and also typically black. The end cap material is either metal, such as these two, or a thicker cardstock or paper material, such as that one.